What's going on there guys? Good afternoon. It is the Earthmaster here on the live stream uh, with an update video here on this Friday the 13th. It is uh, one of those days, right? Uh, about 12.08 p.m. California time here along the west coast. 2.1 earthquake into the California region. The latest quake here on the Earthquake 3D globe. Uh, checking out the latest movement here. Got some activity ramping up mainly north along the Aleutian Trench. Seen a little swarm of activity kick up here over the last 24 hours, including a uh, uh, 4.5 earthquake here earlier this morning, uh, right around the uh, Lucian Islands area. Pretty shallow though, at about 10 kilometers there for that earthquake. Uh, some other movement scattered out and about throughout the Aleutian Islands, uh, the Aleutian Trench area as well. So watching some uh, little bit of uptick and movement around the Alaska region, also up here into the Gulf of Alaska seen a couple of small microquakes here in the red circles there indicating some movement within the last hour uh, there's an earthquake there from last night had a 4.1 well off the coast of Oregon but into the Blanco fracture zone that earthquake there uh, 4.1 at 10 kilometers no subsequent movement overnight or this morning in that area and looking at the California area there's that 2.1 uh, right around the uh, Bay Area of the uh, California region just off the Green Valley Fault Zone looks like uh, about 2.4 kilometers for that uh, microquake and a little activity here just outside of Alejo uh, 1.0 this one at the very northern end of the Hayward Fault System uh, a couple of these fault systems here definitely overdue uh, for a uh, pretty large earthquake now I know everyone's concerned about the San Andreas Fault but uh, this segment here, I believe, has a little bit more time to build up uh, before any significant uh, earthquake does take place on that. But uh, these other fault systems here, Calaveras and the Hayward Fault Zone, um, definitely capable of producing a, a pretty good sized earthquake. And uh, they've been chatted about uh, quite a bit by seismologists uh, and the likelihood of an event happening here pretty soon. Um, and it, unfortunately they do go through uh, quite a few populated regions of the Bay Area. Oakland being one of them uh, just here uh, to the west. Uh, down along the creeping section of the San Andreas Fault just north of there right around Gilroy. Uh, a couple small microquakes kicking up there as well. Some movement into the uh, eastern side of San Joaquin Valley north of Fresno kind of uh, just right around the foothills there outside of Madeira got a 1.9 at 7.4 kilometers and a little uptick in movement right around the Ridgecrest area uh, again with some movement right into the Coso volcanic range looking at a swarm of activity uh, striking up there in that region of course a lot of uh, historical volcanic uh, activity activity in that region looks like mostly microquakes for now they did have a 2.7 the largest in this cluster of earthquakes uh, uh, and they're bouncing all over the place as far as the depth goes it looks like uh, between two to nine kilometers uh, within this area once again that sits there in the uh, Coso uh, volcanic range a lot of volcanic activity throughout the region a little separate swarming going on here to the south as well uh, near the Coso Junction California region so two separate swarms there going on and down here in the Ridgecrest area a uh, little activity kicking up and ramping up today including one earthquake here around the Garlock Fault Zone near the uh, Johannesburg area 4.5 kilometer depth for a 0.1 very shallow or a very uh, small earthquake but still on that uh, Garlock Fault Zone uh, Southern California further south anyway Palomar Observatory did observe a uh, 3.5 this morning 7.4 kilometers deep. It's been a while since we've seen any earthquake activity here around the Palomar Mountain, Palomar Observatory region. This area did see, uh, well, within the past couple months, three months now, I believe, uh, did see quite a bit of swarming at one time, and then it just completely died off magically. Uh, so now we're getting a little bit of further movement. No swarming, but uh, just that noticeable 3.5 in the area. Uh, San Jacinto Fault Zone southward, low activity microquakes. Uh, the salt and sea area looks pretty quiet today not a whole lot going on of course it's Friday the 13th and I'm speaking probably speaking stuff into existence as I'm speaking it's gonna be one of those days I think 
Uh, Texas as well, getting in on uh, a little activity south of Guadalupe Peak, outside of Pecos, Texas. A couple threes and some twos mixed in out there in the western Texas desert. New Madrid zone, seen a little bit of activity. This was last night. Uh, seen a 1.6 and a 1.2 yesterday in this area, northern end of the New Madrid zone. Uh, since then, nothing really to report in that area. Uh, up here at Yellowstone National Park, a uh, couple of small microquakes keying up here. Looks like a 0.6 over here around the Mammoth area. I was just looking at the seismograph. Let's go ahead and check out the Yellowstone overview, which is working today. And as um, far as that specific earthquake goes, I'm not for sure if this is it or not. Uh, let me check the timestamp, 1430. What do we got here? No, this is definitely not it. Uh, that's got a timestamp of 5130135 UTC time. So, whatever this quake is here on the eastern side of the park, not showing up on the USG, uh, USGS map, but uh, it is indeed an earthquake because it's showing up as an earthquake across the seismograph stations here. Looks like it's uh, mainly confined here to the eastern section of the park, kind of where we've seen the uh, 4.2 that struck here a couple days ago. Although this one not quite as prominent of a, of a signature of an earthquake, but it's still showing up, uh, just not across all the uh, stations here. Um, so we'll wait to see if USGS reports that. It was a, uh, a couple hours ago. Kind of looks like a maybe a um, possibly a, maybe a 2.0. Uh, we'll just see what the USGS states there. But it is not that earthquake, and it's not any earthquake around the region. There you can see. Uh, nothing showing up on the map. Uh, Pacific Northwest, bouncing around a little bit. I know zigzag pattern, but might as well. Friday the 13th, make it that day. Uh, a couple small microquakes across the region up here. Let's go ahead and check out the... Uh, oh, this is the uh, latest map here on the Mount St. Helens seismograph stations. Going to key it up, make sure you guys uh, get the latest data here. A couple small microquakes overnight. Still waiting on that earthquake. Uh, looks like that did something to the uh, seismograph needle. The digital needle or kind of hard to say exactly what that is it definitely looks like an earthquake but uh, again USGS really not showing anything from this timestamp area they just have a uh, 0.2 at the 0950 UTC time and um, let's where to go uh, zero to what was it zero nine fifty 0950 so that's uh definitely not anywhere around here huh 950 would be down here somewhere and uh you can just barely see it maybe it's maybe it's uh i don't know i can't really see it on there but there's definitely some small microquakes popping up here more than uh again more than what they're stating here on the map it's almost like they just want to throw up one earthquake or so and say look there's activity you know that it, it'll keep them quiet for a little while but uh we do like to go check the uh the recorded data is pretty uh it's pretty important to do that uh aside from that uh just a couple of quakes up there around vancouver area and outside of seattle uh let's see western part of the country looks pretty quiet puerto rico seen a little bit of swarm outside of the puerto rico mainland area up around the virgin uh british virgin islands and north here the bottom 4.3 around Upper Hell's Gate. That does not sound good on Friday the 13th. 105 kilometer deep earthquake. That's pretty deep for this region in that trough area. Uh, South America, a couple scattered activity. I think this is from uh, yesterday, some older movement. Haven't seen any subsequent activity here today. Just uh, that pattern of un unzipping here on the Peru Chile Trench from yesterday. Again, no new quakes to report in that area today, though. Uh, Big Island, Hawaii, seeing a little swarm of activity once again, kick back up. And up here around the Mauna Loa, uh, got a couple small earthquakes at the very summit and the crater area, 2.4 and a 1.9. Very shallow movement, showing that activity there, uh, striking that uh, volcano. Uh, let's see what else we got here across the board. Things kind of quieting down. You notice that little quiet spell. Along the Western Pacific, things kind of ramping up here along the North American plate where all these uh, red circles are lighting up into the Gulf of Alaska as well. So 
might be a hot spot of activity today on Friday the 13th. This earthquake activity here from uh, well, at least one of them from yesterday, uh, 4.6 did hit this morning at the uh, Japan Trench, somewhat deep at about 42 kilometers there for a 4.6 earthquake. Uh, Fiji Islands only got one earthquake down here, but it's a deep one. And that was from uh, yesterday as well, a 4.8 531 kilometers so since then no subsequent movement at least on the 4.0 threshold uh, back over here Philippine plate seen low activity south of Taiwan uh, this movement from last night as well no further new movement to report in this area at all um, things pretty uh, pretty quiet across this area of the of the uh, earth South Sandwich Islands here uh, that was earlier this or actually late last night. It looks like a 5.3 So right now I think the hot spot here is the uh, Gulf of Alaska south into the North American plate We'll see how that plays out today uh, With the activity kind of ramping up a little bit slightly uh, Earthquakes Canada map here. We did see some movement up here along the uh, Northern end of the Cascadia seen a couple of small quakes here along that plate boundary uh, or the subduction zone, I should say, 2.6 at 10 kilometers, and low activity inland, like I mentioned there, into the BC area. And latest quake shows a 1.3 near the village of Queen Charlotte, BC area, uh, right on the plate boundary of the North American and Pacific plate. Uh, let's see what else we got. Solar weather activity is, uh, I'm sure, pretty stabilized right now, although we are looking at uh, quite a few sunspots kicking into view. The Earth side, that is, uh, dynamics of this one look pretty possible to produce a uh, at least a good size M flare, and these others coming around the bend here uh, are looking pretty uh, prominent on the map as well. We'll see how it plays out in the coming days. Right now, looks like 99% uh, chance of a C flare, which is pretty likely, right, because we're up into the C flare category, kind of crackling with C flares right now uh, throughout last night and this morning. Uh, no flare, no major flares yet, but uh, it's, it looks like it may be getting ready to pop one off. We'll keep an eye on that. But uh, C flare, almost a 100% certainty there. And uh, M flare stand at about 50% chance. X flare at 15. Uh, KP indexes look pretty calm and clear for now. Uh, very low conditions on that geomagnetic, uh, geomagnetic field and aurora uh, map here on the KP index. Um, all right, guys, I'm going to jump off here Friday the 13th. What can go wrong, right? I better not say that. A uh, stream did go down this morning, but that was not due to any hacking or anything. Looks like the ISP went offline. I uh, got a notice there that way they were uh, uh, disconnecting services there to do uh, some work early uh, this morning, like around 1 o'clock in the morning, and it was off for a good hour or two. I uh, didn't get the stream back up and running until... Uh, well, about six o'clock this morning here my time uh, but not for sure maybe some technical stuff on their end um, but yeah anyway live stream is back up and running and uh, looks pretty solid and green for now and we'll see how it goes folks throughout this uh, Friday the 13th which is just I don't even think it's that bad of a day a lot of people in the Western um, world you know associate that number with bad things happening um, you know, a lot of movies about Friday the 13th and whatnot. Uh, I don't know. Friday the 13th. It, I guess it all depends on what you want it to be, right? Because if you think about it, if you think enough, you can kind of create your own reality. So if you think it's going to be a bad day, it's probably going to be a bad day. So that's why I try to stay positive most of the time. And things, for the most part, come out pretty positive. But man, when I'm in a bad mood and I think about today being a bad day, it always tends to be a bad day. So Friday the 13th happy thoughts right all right guys have a good day we will chat you a little bit later on with this uh with the update later tonight stay safe out there